Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time that it resonates. Okay, this is just like a June, June, right about now, near future kind of thing. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Gemini? What do we got for Gemini? I'm gonna I'm gonna hire somebody to uh, set something up so that this is pointed at me. It's on the wall, um, so then we'll be able to see the me and the table. So anyway, what do we have for Gemini? Let's go with that. Oh, we got three. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards, Gemini. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Bag, something important such as a new job or raise. Doesn't have to be a new job or raise. Could be a partnership. Something very important to you something new so but I don't know if that's good or what woman dealings or relationship with a with a woman okay it's interesting it is interesting now you got to be careful be, with this flag when you get a flag it appears to be a red flag to me um, there's probably a woman that is after your money okay and it's interesting because I did a, I did a reading already and I saw this I saw this. I saw a woman that is after your money, and, and I don't know if it's your money. I, it was a reading. It wasn't for Gemini in particular, but what I saw was um, a woman that is scheming to get money, and she may be sending somebody in. She's, she's scheming. She's scheming. Um, if she's not directly going after the money, she may have a pawn per se. That's what I see. You know, she may use it, be using a pawn. They could be scheming together. Um, I'm well aware of it. So anyhow, I think that uh, you need to be tempted not to lower your standards. Um, there's a woman here that you need to be careful of. Um, I also feel like there's a woman that is going to be making you an offer or she's sending somebody in to make you an offer. There's red flags that I think that you need to pay attention to, put it that way. Um, yeah, so let's get, let's get, uh, some of these. Do not lower your standards. Do not. Do not lower your standards. Okay. Interesting. I gotta take these. <clears throat> block them. Block them. There's somebody that you need to block. You need to say no. You need to put the hand up and say nope. Jackpot. It does have to do with money. Somebody is after your money. 111. 111. Instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. You have some highly intuitive at this time when you get 111. So really pay attention to your thoughts. This is only lust. It's only lust. And when people see lust, they think sex. sex. Lust is not just sex. Okay, lust is money. Lust is materialism. Lust is something that is not good for you, that is not going to last. It is instant gratification in some arena. Okay, so I think that you have somebody around you that is after your money they're, or they're after uh, something that you can give them. You need to block this person. Um, yeah. You do. I know that you do. I know that you do. I'm going to put those up there. Like I said, I will get this set up better in the near future so you can see all the cards. But anyway, what do we have? I'll turn my phone over. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You need to block somebody. Do not lower your standards for somebody that looks good, you know, or if it's just lust. Maybe, maybe you have some needs that need to be bent. 
that need to be met and you are overlooking something. Um, there is a woman that is in the picture, whether, say you're dealing with a man, you're dealing with a man. There's a woman that is probably aware of the situation. She may be telling this man, I don't know where this is coming from. I feel like she may be telling this man to go ahead, do it, do it. You can try to get the money, you know, do it for the money. Keep that in mind. Okay. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove that they're with you at this time. So you are receiving messages from heaven as well. That 111 is highly intuitive. That is intuitive messages. So you are receiving intuitive messages probably from a woman. Even though I've given you another message, these cards, whatever it is. Okay, probably from a woman. I don't know if there's a woman that has passed away. Um, could be a mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, friend. Um, you are going to be receiving uh, some money as well. Okay, you're going to be receiving some money, um, a big amount of money. Um, jackpot, we have jackpot here and we've had it before. We've had it before. So I do believe that you are going to be receiving a lump sum of money in some way, you know, or your revenue is going to increase or something like that. But And, the, and you do have somebody from heaven that is guiding it to you, but you also have somebody around you that is after your money. Okay, I know this is the case. I'm positive. Um, I feel like you have direct connection with that 111, with the, you know, uh, higher power in some way. Um, and you really need to be aware of who you're dealing with because you're dealing with somebody that is lusting after what you have by the looks of things. So, and I think that there's somebody that has passed or in your you know, energy that is trying to protect you from this and you may not be seeing it because of lust, okay? So keep that in mind. And when I say woman, it's a feminine energy. We all, and if I thought it was actually a woman, I will tell you, this could be a, a man that is in their feminine energy. So what do we have for Gemini? Um, you may feel like you've won the jackpot with an individual, you know, but it's only lust as well. So be very, very, very careful. You do need to block somebody. They want you to block somebody. Um, keep that in mind. You need to block this person from stealing from you. You know who this person is already. Interesting. We got the Magician Reverse. I'm not sure what's behind it yet. There is a card. That is a master manipulator that is very skilled at manipulation. This is somebody that may be violent, that is above the law, that breaks the law. This is a lawbreaker, okay? Um, and Five of Pentacles. Money. Money. You are, I'm telling you what, there is some sort of abandonment here. Um, neglect, financial trouble. We got somebody here that is in financial trouble. This person is a master manipulator. They're scheming. They got some tricks up their sleeve and they're suffering financially. And they're going to, I feel like you've got somebody around you that is uh, dishonest, is untrustworthy, that is suffering financially and they're after you. Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups reversed underneath that magician. Uh, six of Wands. Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles reversed. And Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. A lot about money here. We definitely have quite a bit about money. Um, emotionally withdrawn, emotionally unavailable, skilled manipulator, trickster, hidden agendas, um, unstable, insecure, doesn't have a lot to offer, sees your abundance, sees your capability, um, wants to win at all costs, 
this person wants to climb the ladder. They see that you're climbing the ladder. They see that you are having victory in your life. They are uh, emotionally unstable. You got somebody here that is emotionally unstable. They're emotionally unavailable. Um, Let's see if I can bring this down. Five of Pentacles, financial hardship, hard times. You're dealing with somebody that is going through some financial hard times. They may tell you that they're stable. They may tell you that they have something to offer you, um, but I don't think they do. Um, grieving over a loss in the future. You're, you know, I feel like you are, you have a, you have an exciting opportunity waiting for you with that Ace of Wands, a new start, a fresh start, but I feel like you are, um, you're not being, I feel like you're, you're not being uh, logical in some way. You're not being logical. I feel like you need to ground yourself. I feel like you're dealing with an individual that is unstable they are insecure they're draining you they're draining you they their plan to drain you they do their plan is to take something from you you're dealing it's like almost like a thief i feel like you got a thief around you um i feel like you're capable of doing it on your own being by yourself you may want to choose to be alone we could have a split here a breakup with the five of cups next to the nine of pentacles that is a separation, it is mourning over a loss. There's another opportunity for love here that is better suited for you with somebody that is noble. You have a noble uh, warrior here that um, is highly respected. We have the Six of Wands right here. You have a noble warrior that is highly respected that... Um, is a better match for you, but I feel like you are in a situation with somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. This person is disloyal, they're unhealthy, they are not emotionally available, and they're after your money. So, I mean, that's what I see really, really fast. Um, I think that you may be suffering some sort of financial hardship right now because uh, you're allowing somebody you know, maybe maybe you don't know your value. Maybe you don't know your value. You're allowing somebody to drain you. You need to be very, very, very careful. I feel like you have a new beginning here uh, in the future with somebody that will protect you. This is a protector, somebody that is noble. Um, this is a warrior. It's a hero. It is a hero. Um but I do also see grieving, grieving over a loss and not seeing an opportunity for love with that five of cups, crying over a loss, crying over, you know, an unplanned loss. And it could, it could be money. It could be money because you, you let somebody uh, take advantage of you. So I think there is somebody around you that is taking advantage of you. They're taking advantage of your heart, you know, your feelings. They may be playing on your feelings. Um, and I think that you'd be better off to go your own way. I do. I see a separation. There could be a separation here. I see independence. I see enjoying life on your own. Uh, for some of you, some there could be a breakup here. There could be a separation. Um, the magician reversed is a volatile situation with an individual that is very manipulative, that lies. This is a no, no, this is a no, 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 no. You have a better match. You do. You have a better match. Uh, all you have to do is look in a different direction, you're, but you are, it feels like you're not. You're refusing not to look in a different direction because you're not being practical. You're not being reasonable. Um, 
eight of pentacles putting in a lot of effort working really really hard focusing on your money focusing on yourself that's what you should be focusing on you should be focusing on your job focusing on yourself focusing especially on yourself focus on your self-worth focus on your your self-love focus on your business focus on your job focus on you okay do not give your heart away to somebody that is a master manipulator they may already be you know in a commitment with somebody that and they're suffering financially and they see your value that they, they see your money and they want it that's what i keep thinking anyway i feel like um you have a winner around the corner you know if you have somebody that is noble that will fight for you that will protect you if you could just look in a different direction this person is older maybe a little bit older than you um very highly respected um, I also see some public recognition and growth for you in the future. If you have a business, I see an increase in money. Maybe that's where your money comes from. I see you receiving money in some way, like a lump sum or increased, increased money, you know, an increased money, whatever that means to you. I see an increase in money. That's what it is. But I feel like, I feel like, uh, and you're winning, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning, but you may not see it. You may not see it that you're winning. You know, you're getting ahead, but you've got somebody behind you that is a thief. This person is a thief. And I feel like this thief is uh, going to lose because we, if we look at this one, we look at this one, this thief is not going, this is like getting unemployed, getting fired, um, losing the job, losing, losing the position. There's going to be a change in position. They're losing their position. I feel like um, you're going to get the job or you're going to get the money. Your hard work is paying off. But you absolutely, positively need to be aware of this thief. Okay, we have a thief here that, um, oh God, plays on people's emotions. Ah, high priestess. You, this is, this is in, in, intuitive. Um, you know, you know the truth. You do, you do know. Highly, which I knew that one, 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 you are highly intuitive at this time. If you think that you are dealing with somebody that is lying to you or manipulating or stealing or whatever it is, the answer is yes. The, you, your intuition is spot on, okay? Your intuition is spot on at this time. Um, that Ace of Cups is emotional withdrawal. It's withdrawing emotions, tears. You may even be shedding some tears. You may be shedding some tears um, because of some sort of heartbreak. The Five of Cups is heartbreak. I'm, I, you may be experiencing some heartbreak uh, in the next week or two um, because of some sort of awakening. And I think it's a rude awakening. I do think it's a rude awakening. I feel like you have a woman around you that you need to block. I also feel like you have a woman that has passed away that is guiding you. Okay, so keep that in mind. I do feel like we have something to do with a father as well. For some reason, I want to tell you that because of the Six of Wands looks like a father to me. I do see grieving. Um, Ace of Wands is climbing the ladder. I mean, you are climbing the ladder. You are moving up. You're moving up. You're, and maybe it's just ascension. You are moving up. And maybe you're ascending in your spiritual practices. And I say that because of this. Okay? You know, that's moving up the ladder spiritually. You know? And climbing. It's climbing the ladder. So you are climbing the ladder. I do, I do see ascension here. You're ascending spiritually. Your thoughts are manifesting. So really pay attention to your thoughts. Um, I see abandonment here too. So I don't know if somebody has been abandoned by somebody, maybe even abandoned by a father, you know, neglected by a father or something like that. Things are about to get better. I think that, that, that things are going to get better. Progress is you're going to be making progress. You're going to be put in the spotlight as well. I think that you're going to be put in the spotlight in, in the next I feel like it's the next week. It could be the week or two. It could be two weeks. We have a couple of one, we have three ones here. Unbelievable. Okay, so we have this one, one, one. 
And we have this one, this one, and this one. So we have one, 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 three times. So, and they're all right together. So one, 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 instant manifestation. Your thoughts are truly, truly becoming things. Whatever you are thinking is absolutely manifesting. So yeah, you're going to see an increase in money, a big increase, which is absolutely the case. Okay. You are definitely going to see a big increase in money. And with this one, this is an increase in money. So you're in, you are going to see an increase in money, but and I do feel like you have some sort of protection here. And I, I feel like there's a there's a warrior with this six of wands. I feel like there's a warrior here that is is approaching you, that is a better match for you. You may even have a for some of you, I know I'm going all over the place, but you have a may new have a new sexual partner here with the ace of wands. This is somebody that is highly respected that um, has fought a lot of battles, but they're ready to settle down, they're ready to relax, they're all done fighting, and uh, I don't know, it feels like they're coming towards you if you, if you are single, because I have this single card right, right here with it, which is interesting, I put it up here. If you are single and you've been moping and crying over a loss, or you've been alone and you've been feeling abandoned and neglected, I don't think you're gonna be neglected much longer if you're single. Um, I do have a highly spiritually evolved, evolved individual here who has a direct connection to, you know, the higher power that is very, very gifted, that is going to be, um, I don't know, it feels like there's some sort of tears, it could be tears of joy, but I'm not sure. I feel like there's sadness here though as well. Um, and there's a lack of awareness, totally unaware. Somebody here may be unaware of their gift, because this is unaware of their gift. You have a you have a fresh start here with the ace of wands. This is a this is exciting an exciting new beginning here that is going to increase I feel like you guys have an increase of wealth but there's some sadness some of you may even be getting an inheritance I don't know not everybody this, some of this could it, it may stem from your work because of the eight of pentacles that I had a minute ago so there's your work your work your hard work is paying off You need, you're going to need to master your emotions during this time because I feel like there's some sadness. There's some tears. Maybe it's tears because uh, of some sort of uh, manipulation. It feels like you've been ab abandoned or manipulated or left behind by somebody that is above the law, that had tricked you, that deceived you in some way. There's deception here, definitely, definitely with that magician reversed. But I think that you are unaware that you are about to win. You are about to win something. This is like a windfall, perhaps. I see you living very comfortably in the future, enjoying your life. There's, there is an opportunity for love that you may not be aware of. If you're single, if you are in a coupled relationship, there could be a separation. I'm just being honest, okay? That is a breakup or a separation or something like that. And I don't know if it's, you know, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a family member or something. Um, I do see somebody climbing the ladder. And being recognized. Being really, really, really recognized. Let's get one more card. Ace of Pentacles. What more can I say? This is long-term success. It is stable, solid, uh, permanent. This is a gift. This is something you can take to the bank. You are definitely going to be receiving something that is very, very solid. Okay, this is something that is stable, solid, secure, long-term. Uh, it's, it's a windfall. It's an investment that you invested in that is about to pay off. 
I'm telling you what, you are about to receive a big gift that is going to make you extremely happy. You're going to be attending a get-together or a gathering in the near future. There could be a reunion here. This is happiness, could lead to long-term commitment, maybe even marriage for some of you. Um, this is a gift, a golden opportunity, something permanent you are about to receive some sort of payoff or payout or money or gift or something that is going to make you extremely happy. This is something that you asked for, that you manifested. The Ace of Pentacles is manifestation as well. I happen to put it on top of the rest of the ones without even thinking twice. So now we got four ones. So, and actually we got, we got these three. We got seven ones, but seven is a number from heaven. This looks like the stairway to heaven to me as well. So, so this is heaven sent. And, and it's interesting because this heaven is, there's a woman that is in heaven that is guiding you, that is helping, that is protecting you as well. So, and I do feel like it's a feminine. I do in that case. But I do feel like you are about to receive the gold, right? You are about to receive, and I just, now the Ace of Pentacles on top of the money bag. So I don't know if your money bags or what, but something is about to happen. This is, this is long-term success, something that you can hold on to for a long time. It's something permanent, whether it is, uh, if, if you are a male watching this or a masculine, you, there could be a woman that is coming in that is giving you something solid, something real. This woman is rich by the looks of things. But I also feel like there is a woman that you can't trust. So you got to keep that in mind. There, you know, you're going to have to obviously really use your head and be practical because I feel like there is a woman here that you cannot trust. I'm positive that there is. I know that there is. And that's my intuition. And, I, and I'm very much Gemini, just so y'all know. Gemini stellium. And anyhow, um, high priestess, you're gifted. Very, very, very gifted highly intuitive at this time something that you manifest manifested is coming to fruition you are about to receive a huge opportunity that you can hold on to this is going to make you very 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 happy this is a yes answer you win you win you win this is your jackpot so with that said good luck